What's up, y'all geeks? I am squeezing in this week with Polish Pickup October 2021 to show you guys. I have 42 items to uh, display, show off, all that good stuff. This month we have the theme Mythical Creatures. And please remember, I do have my usual sponsored giveaway, so just leave a comment below and I will pick a random 10 winners to win a $10 PPU gift code. The giveaway will end Thursday, September 30th at 6 p.m. Central Time, and I will put a pinned comment on this video at that point. So no more blabbing from me. I've got a lot to show you guys, so let's dive right into the swatches. First up is 1422 Designs, What Lurks Below. This is described as a mulberry jelly with blue to purple micro flakes and pink to orange to gold to green iridescent flakes. This is inspired by the legend of a creature lurking in the depths of Torch Lake, Michigan. Price is $12.50 and there's a cap of 100 bottles. So this has a very jelly formula. It is quite a bit what I would consider on the sheer side. So if a visible nail line bugs you, I would strongly suggest a color correcting base coat of some type. Overall, I'm going to suggest three coats for opacity. Again, on my full hand shot, you're going to see just a touch of my smile line. But again, this is a softer sort of jelly base and it just allows all of those iridescent, small to somewhat medium sized flakes to really pop through. This dries on flat. So again, you're seeing a glossy top coat. And next is Alchemy Lacquers, Snowman of the Mountain. This is a dark periwinkle crelly with purple to red shifting flakes, red to pink shifting flakes, blue to purple shifting flakes, and black flakes. Price is $12.50 and there's a cap of 200 bottles. So this is what I would absolutely agree with being a Crelly sort of formula and it builds really nice in terms of opacity. Now, if you notice on my second and third coat here, I absolutely have full coverage. It's really going to depend on your preference and how heavy you go in on your coats. I personally found that lighter coats and going up to three was perfect. You can see just how much of a pond effect I'm getting. Again, you're seeing a glossy top coat on my full hand shot. More on that in a bit. And Aurora brings us his name is Grogu. This is described as a sparkly bright green polish with flashes of geometric pigment that glows green in the dark. Price is 13 and there's a cap of 200 bottles. So despite uh, my love for the inspiration on this one, this is a quite sparkly sort of finish. It's got this almost micro glitter type effect, but it's really interesting because there's a ton of shimmer here too. I almost want to say that it looks like it's equal parts shimmer to this uh, glittery look. Very pretty. Now this dries down very textured, very thirsty. So you're going to want to use a glitter smoother with your glossy top coat. And here is what it looks like in the dark. And Baroness X brings us all acorns with freaking light lightning bolts. This is a silver to lavender magnetic polish with blue sister unicorn pea and black to red micro flakes and a light gray crelly base. Price is 13 and there is no cap. So this has a very light formula to it. Uh, this is absolutely versatile in that you can wear it as a topper over some type of light or dark cream. I think it's going to look really cool either way. If you choose to build it on its own, I'm going to suggest going up to three coats as again, this has a lighter formula, but when you magnetize it, it's very quick to react to the magnet and you can see that strong. It's almost like a lavender sort of silvery effect from the magnetic pigment. And when it pulls away, you're going to see this really lovely blue fine particle shimmer, which is that unicorn pea sibling pigment. Again, I would suggest going in with a glossy top coat. Now, Baroness X is also bringing us one of her big old acetone antidotes this month. I'm showing you guys basically what I, how I use these. I haven't gotten to wear nail polish for myself in a couple months now and um, hoping to rectify that soon. We'll see if I can uh, catch up at any point. But I basically use a dropper and I use anywhere between three to six drops in my Dappen dish. And that just depends on how much I'm swatching. So I do three drops to half a Dappen dish or six drops to if I'm loading it up with acetone all the way up to the top. This month's scent is a house blend of Fiji dates, lemon peel, and a touch of spiced plum pudding. This is very pleasant per usual. Demi really like knocks it out of the park with these really interesting blends. I would have to say this is very warm overall. It does have a spiced undertone to it. Warm and I'm getting a touch of clove in there too. Reminds me of a chai tea. And by Danny Viana brings us a thousand wishes. This is a blue turquoise curly base filled with pink aurora shimmer. 
price is 13 and there's a cap of 400. Uh, this is inspired by the Cirrus and the belief of folding a thousand Cirrus. I apologize if I'm saying that incorrect. Uh, I wanted to note that this shade is a tribute to uh, Danny's friend who is ongoing a cancer treatment right now. So I thought that was really special. This has a perfect creamy formula to it. I think two to three coats is wonderful. Uh, three if you're going in roll light and finish with a glossy top coat to really exploit that shimmer. Now, by Danny Viana is also bringing us an e-reader bag. This is a 19 centimeter by 14 centimeter uh, with this adorable unicorn print. I'm a huge fan of this print. If I could get it in more stuff, I would totally be down. Uh, but I'm showing you guys uh, what my phone looks like in it as I don't use e-readers. But uh, my phone, I do have a Google Pixel phone, and uh, if that gives you a size reference, and it fits in either one of the pockets. The pockets are quite deep. Uh, I think you can get quite a bit of goodies in here, and the back of it is uh, kind of soft, almost like a quilted, cushiony sort of feel, and just overall really, really cute. I think there's a ton of stuff you can stuff in here, and again, if you see on that first pocket, it basically just covers my phone completely because of the depth. And Cameo Colors Lacquers brings us Pyramid of Silence. This is a dusty taupe curly base full of scattered hollow sparkle, red and gunmetal micro flakes, dark gray flakes, small red glitters, dark gray flakes, small red glitters, and silver hollow micro flakes. Price is $11.50 and there's a cap of 105 bottles. So uh, quite a bit of a mouthful on that description there. Uh, basically, there's a lot of goodies in this. So overall, you're going to get this very neutral sort of feeling to it as it builds up. I'm going to suggest two to three coats, depending on whether or not you are rocking a free edge. And overall, if you are medium, warm, undertoned or deep toned, I think this is going to heavily pull even more neutral against you. And Crystal Knockout brings us Souls of Wind and Thunder. This is a dark blue-black base with a golden glow and matte white glitters in multiple sizes. Price is 11 and there is no cap. This has a, a very curly, in my opinion, leaning a touch more on the jelly side in terms of how it builds up. I would strongly suggest going in light on your coats. If you go in too heavy to quickly build it to opacity, you're going to run into over buildup. So again, go in gentle on this one. I had no issues getting glitters out of the bottle. No need for fishing there. You're going to get a generous amount on each of your coats. And this does dry down with some texture and thirstiness. So again, I'm going to suggest a glitter smoothing top coat underneath your glossy top coat and you'll be good to go. This has quite a bit of a strong glowy factor, which in my opinion is true to the inspiration and really pops at that third coat. And Cupcake Polish brings us Be Prepared. This is a purple jelly filled with red to gold iridescent shimmer, red to gold iridescent flakes, and a touch of hollow micro flakes. Price is 13 and there is no cap. So this has a very curly formula to it. It does come off more of a jelly on that first coat, but you'll see in just a moment, it builds really, really well and stays put exactly where you place it. Uh, as a picky purple fan myself, this is absolutely gorgeous. It's very vibrant. And depending on your preference, it's going to depend on if you want to take it up to a third coat. So I think it looked great at two coats, but I really, really wanted to go extra on this one because there are so much flakes and matching shimmer. So it's going to depend on your preference, but this does dry down flat. So you're going to want to use a glossy, glossy top coat. And Dom Nail Polish brings us Rain the Rain. This is a shimmery polish with shifts of purple, blue, and green. It's also filled with hollow flakes and blue to purple flakes. Price is $12.50 and there's a cap of 300 bottles. So this has a very shimmery, strong formula. I will never, ever get tired of blues that have strong glowy factors to them. This is stunning as a blue polish biased person myself. I think three coats is going to be perfect as it does start off just a touch on the sheer side, but the buildup is absolutely worth it. You're going to see a very obvious shift of an aqua to a blue to a purple at angles. I'm going to make sure to throw in a macro shot at the end of the recap so you guys can see that nice shift. And Different Dimension brings us Fairy Wings. This is described as an iridescent hollow polish loaded with blue to violet color shifting Aurora shimmers and blue to violet color shifting flakes as well as hollow micro flakes. Price is 13 and there is no cap. 
Now, I really, really want to point out, I think you're kind of seeing it on the video, but my swatches did not do this one justice. It is being so subtle on my photos of how luminous that is. So in person, it's got this strong pink to purple luminescent glow to it that I think is just being subtle on my pictures. Now, Different Dimension is also bringing us Cuticle Oil Duo. The scents to these are Mermaid Tears, which is a blend of creamy vanilla, juicy orange, sweet pineapple, and maraschino cherries, and Unicorn Horn, which smells like bubblegum. My favorite types of scents. I love bakery scents. I love sweet scents, and this is right up there. You can see that the oil spreads really well. I do enjoy this oil. It soaks in easily into my nails, and sometimes I use the tiniest drops for uh, preparation of swatching videos, and if going in lightly it doesn't leave any type of residue i don't really have to wait for it to soak in and drk nails brings us i want that tesseract this is 13 with the cap of 400. this is very jelly like on application i can see this doubling as a topper but i was overall impressed with these little iridescent flakes they literally have like one of the most strongest iridescent looks i've seen in a moment on my full hand shot i think you're going to get a really good idea of that there's a strong pinky sort of shift with it. I think this is very versatile if you want to wear it at two coats or three coats or as a topper. I thought two coats was perfect on it. And here with that glossy top coat, I think you can kind of get an idea. It's that green to gold to purple to like a pinky color on that iridescent look. And Fair Maiden brings us underneath it all. This is described as an emerald navy violet shifting base packed with color shifting flakes. This is 12 and there is no cap. So this has a metallic, strong metallic feel on the brush strokes. It's easy to build to opacity. If you went real thin on your coats, you're going to need to go in for three coats. But if you go in normal like myself, because it has that metallic effect, the dry time is excellent. I think two coats is perfect. Again, if you go in normal, this has a strong, strong shift to it. So I was easily seeing this emerald green to a teal at angles and an easy shift over to blue as well. And Femme Fatale brings us a Kraken Snackin' on Fish and Chips, best name ever. This is described as an emerald green jelly base with a hint of teal packed with red, orange, gold, green shifting unicorn-esque shimmer and black and emerald microfine hollow glitters. Price is 14 and there's a cap of 370. This is gorgeous, especially if you are a glitter lover like myself. This has that fine particle type glittery look to it. I think two to three coats is perfect. Now, please note this is a micro glitter, so it is going to dry down very thirsty, very textured. So I'm going to strongly suggest a glitter smoother underneath your glossy top coat. And Gato Arterio brings us the Nekomata pouches. This is a large pouch with an interior water resistant plastic pouch and an exterior of premium cotton fabric. The small pouch can hold up to six nail polish bottles. This is going to be 15 and there's a cap of 40. So I do have to say this is absolutely sewn very well and it's just super, super cute. The inside pouch I'm showing you guys here, it's got that clear waterproof material on it. And again, it can fit up to six polishes. Uh, this is quite large for the external pouch. I can see myself putting all types of makeup and goodies and brushes and all that stuff in it. So really adorable and feels very sturdy when you zip it and overall for how it's stitched. And Glisten and Glow brings us Revive Your Monster. This is described as a fuchsia jelly, somewhat curly polish with various shapes and sizes of black, gunmetal, light gray, and silver hollow glitters. Price is $12.50 and there is no cap. So this is uh, what I would consider in terms of the base color as being a, a very vibrant type of bubblegum pink. At least this is what I would consider a very uh, bright bubblegum. So I think two coats is perfect for it. Do give your bottle a good shake as I had no issues in terms of fishing, but I can see how those glitters are a touch heavy. I'm going to suggest going in for two coats to prevent any sort of over buildup. And you're definitely going to want to finish with a glitter smoothing top coat along with your glossy. Now, Glisten and Glow is also bringing us a cuticle remover and cuticle oil duo this month as well. This is going to be eight for the duo with no cap. 
The remover is scented in fresh picked apples and the cuticle oil is scented in caramel apple. They smell very pleasant and wonderful. And I honestly have found that these cuticle remover pens are fantastic for pedicures. It's really easy to use on your toes, but of course I will never show you guys my feet on this channel. That is not happening. So uh, just gonna real quick show you guys Glisten and Glows remover. You're gonna wanna let it soak into your cuticles for one minute and then it's very gentle removing power. I'm using Polish Pickups cuticle stick, AKA what the admins and I dub the murder stick. And then you just kind of scrape gently against your skin, remove the excess uh, flaky sort of stuff, wash with soap and water really well to get any excess off. And then I'm finishing off, don't mind my repair, it's terrible. I'm going to be uh, taking care of that today, actually. Finish off with the cuticle oil and you're good to go and you get that beautiful blogger's hands, or at least what I call it, look. And Hearts and Promises brings us Vampire Blood. This is a dark pink to dark red thermal with a sprinkle of gold flakes, rainbow iridescent flakes, and gold sparks. Price is $12.50 and there's a cap of 300 bottles. So this has what I consider a Crelly sort of formula to it, and it builds really well. I think two coats is perfect, and the thermal properties itself, they are quite reactive, but I want to note that the warm and the cool state are pretty much in the same color family. So it's not what I would consider the most loudest uh, in your face sort of transition. I think the ice water shot is giving you guys a really good idea of that. Overall, it shifts, in my opinion, to a uh, colder state or rather a, a cool toned type of red compared to that warm state, if that makes sense. And Indie by Patty Lopez brings us Curious Souls. This is a green curly base with green shimmer and a mix of blue hollow glitters. Price is $12.50 and there's a cap of 250 bottles. So this has what I consider a, a true jelly formula. It's got that wonderful squish factor to it and it builds up just very gently and very slowly, which is wonderful as it gives you that nice plumping effect and that strong pond effect between your layers. I'm gonna suggest going in lightly and at three coats, it'll give you that wonderful, almost acrylic looking finish to it. It has that jelly sort of smooth glassy jello appearance to it. I didn't have any problems in terms of texture, but I think a really glossy top coat is going to be perfect for this one. And Lemming Lacquer brings us Baba Yaga. This is 13 with a cap of 200. Now this has a very heavy formula to it. So I would strongly advise against overloading your brush, especially if you tend to go in heavier handed on your coats, you're gonna to wanna to take it just a step back as again, dense formula. So go in light, it's gonna build up very quickly regardless. I think two coats is perfect. This is very, very nice in person. So indoor lighting, it's almost gonna take on this blackened sort of effect, but in uh, brighter lights, especially sunlight, you get that nice sparkle effect and you'll see that it's a true midnight, deep, rich blue with a lovely red glow. And MJ Lacquer brings us Oh Goody. This is a mustard leaning yellow base with red, magenta, orange, green, and gold UCC flakes topped with red to gold Aurora shimmer. Price is $11.50 and there's a cap of 240 bottles. So this has a very jelly sort of formula to it. Very uh, juicy jelly type finish and lovely mustard sort of shade. It's a touch on the warm side. So I would classify this in my opinion as a true type of mustard. And the flakes just kind of add on that extra sort of mustard and I'm seeing some ketchup. Y'all are going to get so sick of me talking about food, uh, but it builds very nicely at two coats and I think a glossy top coat is perfect to finish off. And Nail Artisan Cosmetics brings us Dracaris. This is a sultry red base infused with flickering embers of multichromatic red, gold, and pink flakes. Price is $13.50 and there's a cap of 200 bottles. So this is uh, what I would consider a cool toned sort of base with a warm toned type of multi-chrome magnetic pigment. So there's a strong reddish orangish to gold shift to this one at extreme angles. I do want to know, in my opinion, I think the magnetic pigment overall after you go in with the magnet is quite subtle. And I think it just offers just a touch more depth to the overall finish. Now, Nail Artisan Cosmetics is also bringing us Kelpie in the Waves. This is $13.50 with a cap of 150 bottles. This is another magnetic that is described as a magnetic multichrome that shifts from teal to green to blue to purple 
with green to gold and pink flakes. So this one is uh, just a touch more obvious in terms of what you're seeing magnetized and unmagnetized. P.S. The ring magnet I'm using in the video and what I have been using for quite some time, uh, probably even years now at this point, uh, this magnet particularly is available through PPU. Now you can see, I think two coats is perfect. This does have versatility to be a topper as well, but I think it can absolutely be built up to a very much opacity at two coats. And Night Owl Lacquer brings us Sasquatch Siding. This is 13 with no cap. So this has a very dense hollow finish to it, which is one of my favorites. In the sunshine, this is gonna take on so much rainbow goodness. I think two coats is perfect as it behaves quite a bit on the metallic side. So that kind of speeds up dry time. And again, two coats is wonderful. This is so glowy with the multi-chrome shimmer. It's what I would consider a warm type of multi-chrome effect where there is bronzes and a touch of greens and a touch of golds really nice and i'm going to strongly suggest finishing with a glossy top coat and next is polish nine tails go this is going to be 13 with no cap so this is a, a very what i consider flattering type of yellowish type of goldish sort of base it's described as a soft citrus cream with dense orange copper to green shifting pigment and I do agree, it's a citrusy sort of yellow, but it's got just a touch of a warm tone to it. And the shimmer itself warms everything up even further. So depending on your angles, you're gonna see a touch of this uh, orangey sort of cast to it. And then there's this copper look and a lime type of green too. Really pretty. And I think three light to normal coats is perfect because it plumps up really well like a curly. It does dry down semi-flat. So I think any glossy top coat is gonna be perfect. And Painted Polish brings us Dead But Delicious. This is going to be $13.50 with a cap of 350 bottles. So this is what I consider a true jelly formula. Once again, it applies very opaque on the nail. And it's described as a vampy blood red jelly with color shifting iridescent and metallic flakes. So this is what I consider the true sort of blood red in that almost oxblood type of feeling in that when you build it up, it's basically going to look almost black in dimmed indoor lighting. So quite a bit of a vampy feel. The flakes give you this strong mosaic effect and I'm strongly gonna suggest a glossy top coat to give you that juicy, glossy appearance. And Pampered Polishes brings us a Silencio Bruno. This is described as a seafoam green to cerulean blue thermal loaded with platinum holographic and iridescent flakes. Price is 13 and there is no cap. So this has what I consider a curly formula to it. It does behave just a touch more on the jelly side, and I'm gonna strongly suggest going in lightly on your coats to prevent over buildup. Just let it gently build up, and I think three coats will give you that nice, even plumpness. P.S. If you guys haven't seen Luca, it's very cute, and I really recommend it. This is a very juicy jelly in appearance once you go in with a glossy top coat. I want to note that the thermal properties to this one are really really reactive. You can see here with the ice water shot, um, it's just fighting me tooth and nail to stay in that warm state and just easy peasy shifting over between this lovely contrasting cold to warm look. And Penelope Loose brings us well, well, this is 13 with a cap of 700 and described as a multi-chrome magnetic polish with Aurora pigment. So this one was a uh, surprise little like, almost peekaboo sort of effect in my opinion when I was working on it because it looks one way when you are swatching it, but then when you go in with the magnet, I was like, oh, that is green. So really lovely, strong metallic effect. I think two coats is perfect for it. And given how much magnetics we're seeing this month, this month, I want to really highlight and remind you guys, in order to get magnetic polishes to work really well, you're also going to want to magnetize your glossy top coat layer as well, just to help you seal in that design. And Polish Mollish brings us Yeti on the Roof. This is a pale lavender shade with bright pink shimmer and black flakes. Price is 13 and there's a cap of 320 bottles. 
So this has a Corelli formula to it. It's such a soft, flattering, delicate sort of pink, and the shimmer just kind of complements it really well. At some angles, I saw a peachy, orangey sort of cast to it, so very flattering and glowy in that regard. I think two coats is gonna be perfect for most. If you tend to polish on the thin side, I could see you needing a third coat. This does dry down flat, so you're seeing a glossy top coat. Again, more on that later on my full hand shot. Now, Polish Molish is also bringing us Finding Home, which is described as a topper with mirror iridescent flakes and a soft blue shift. This is going to be $12.50 with a cap of 300 bottles. So I'm showing you guys what it looks like over black. And I have to say, even if you are typically not a fan of toppers, this one is something else. It's just a cool, really interesting type of shift to the flakes. They are so strong and reflective and silvery, but they have an easy shift over to blue. Really cool. I think it's very unique and it looks damn good over just about any base coat. Uh, I know the other swatchers use different colors too, so definitely check it out on the website. This is just a really unique type of flake effect in my opinion. And Pretty Beautiful Unlimited brings us from the ashes. This is described as a black to red multi-chrome pigment and black to red multi-chrome flakes with red and black hollow micro glitters and purple to red to gold crystal chameleon flakies. This one's gonna be 13 and the cap is 200. Now this has a very squishy formula to it. It's kind of behaving a bit between a jelly and a crelly. And when I was kind of looking back on this one, I think I probably should have stopped at two coats because it's got so much squishiness to it. I feel like there is the uh, issue of having over buildup. So if you do typically prefer three coats like myself, I'm going to strongly suggest going real light on your coats. Regardless at two or three, it's gonna give you opacity, but if you prefer that extra thickness, just go in light. And the brand also brings us Sweet Fire. This is a wax clam, which will be six with no cap. And I'm showing you guys real quick, basically how I melt waxes uh, in my place, as I like to use those cupcake silicone liners for easy change out between my waxes. Now, Sweet Fire smells so stinking good. I'm getting a bit of a bakery scent to it. It's almost like this cake sort of scent, uh, which is probably the, the vanilla and marshmallow finishes to this one. But I'm also getting just the slightest bit of spiciness to it from a, a clove and a sandalwood and patchouli type scents. And it also has a very light undertone of polished leather and fine bourbon, according to the scent description, which I'm not really getting. It's mostly this subtle sort of spiciness with a touch of sweetness to it. It is very, very pleasant, and I really recommend it if you enjoy a sweeter sort of scents. And Psych Minerals brings us Phoenix or Griffin. This is going to be 12 with a cap of 150 bottles. So this has a crelly, somewhat jelly sort of formula to it. It's got a really strong squish factor. So this is another one I'm going to suggest going in light on your coats. It's going to plump up very easily. So regardless, two to three coats is very, very perfect for it. I personally went up to two coats and you can see just how well it built up. This is a strong, very, very warm undertone. And the shimmer just kind of gives this lovely cooler sort of contrast. Now, Psych Minerals is also bringing us Underwater Queen Lip Gloss. This is going to be 10 with no cap. This is a magenta jellied sort of pigment in a, in a glossy base that has a strong blue shimmer. Uh, this is very flattering. So if you got warm undertones like me, uh, this is going to be very cool toned against you. So it's going to pop really well. Now, on my hand swatch here, I want to really point out, I went in just a touch heavy. The heavier you go with this one, the more of that purple color you're gonna get. Uh, I tried it out on my lips. This is not sticky. It does feel super glossy on your lips though. And if you want more color, uh, I would suggest going in just a touch heavier, but wearing it lighter, it gives off this more subtle type of soft purpley magenta sort of tint to your lips. And Rogue Lacquer brings us Seahorse. This is an ocean blue jelly base loaded with pink to orange color shifting flakes, hollow flakes, and turquoise metallic flakes. This will be 13 with no cap. So for a jelly polish, we are seeing quite a bit of opacity here, which is what I come to expect from a Rogue's flaky finishes. Easy buildup. I think two coats is perfect. And you can see on that second coat just how beautiful and vibrant that blue base is. 
Of course, my uh, blue heart loves this so, so much. I didn't have any problems in terms of texture, but you're still going to want to finish with a good glossy top coat. And Sassy Sauce brings us Reptile Dysfunction. This is going to be $12.50 with a cap of 400 bottles. So this is a very glowy sort of thermal. The shimmer kind of takes over everything as you build it up. And I'm going to suggest between two to three coats for full coverage, depending on how long your nails are. Now on the cold state, I think the shimmer just pops really, really well. This does dry down semi-flat. So I think a good glossy top coat is going to help bring out that flaky sort of appearance overall. And the thermal state to this one is what I would consider uh, definitely on the same sort of color family. So not super obvious, but you can definitely see a deepened sort of shift when it's cold. And Scoflaw brings us Attack of the Dust Bunnies. This is going to be $12.50 with no cap. It is described as a gray curly filled with tangles of gunmetal, silver, and iridescent flakes and flecked with various glitters of different colors and shapes. Price is $12.50 and there is no cap. So we have a very dense type of formula here, but it's very smooth and stays where you put it. Again, what I expect from this brand. And I think two coats is perfect. This does dry down textured and flat and thirsty. So I'm gonna strongly suggest a glitter smoothing top coat underneath your glossy top coat to finish off. And then before I forget for you collectors, that is what the butt label looks like. And Sweet and Sour brings us back to nature. This is a multi -car magnetic with micro flakes shifting in gold to green to copper and a murky green jelly base paired with black flakes. This is going to be 13 with a cap of 250 bottles. Now this one is a really stunning magnetic. I thought it looked like almost like a, a reptile eye. If you uh, like a goldish sort of metallic look really pretty now the magnetic flakes in this one are of the heavier feel so i'm going to suggest going in for maybe 10 more seconds on each of your magnetic parts just to make sure you get that movement and this dries down really flat so again finish with a heavy glossy top coat which speaking of to round out this entire video uh, sweet and sour is also offering up her gloss sauce for this month's ppu if you have been looking at the descriptions to my videos probably i dare say the last like three months now this is what i've been using and this is actually my swatcher bottle right here uh, i've got a little bit of a dent to it but what's really got a dent to it is uh, my refill bottle that uh, was gifted to me from sweet and sour and i have gone through as you can see a ton of it so i want to say i started using it and trying it out in the summer and when i talk about glossy top coats i want to put them through a ringer which is what i have done and i really recommend gloss sauce if you haven't tried it yet this is another fantastic top coat. I've recommended um, other top coats on my channel as well, but top coats and base coats definitely are going to be affected by your individual body chemistry. So if you're in the market to try another one, I would absolutely recommend giving this one a try. Now, Polish Pickup opens up for shopping October 1st at 11 a.m. Eastern time and will close October 4th at 11 59 p.m eastern time don't forget you guys to make sure you are leaving a comment below 10 of you will be picked i'm going to use a comment picker and i'll make sure to leave a pinned comment on this post at 6 p.m central time on uh, thursday september 30th i'm going to have all this info including the deadline for the giveaway in the description box and um, also timestamps if you guys need to go back and take a look at anything. So because I'm actually um, behind, ironically, it kind of puts me at the opportunity to share with you guys what is on my wish list this month. And so far I've got uh, Night Owl Lacquer's Wax, which is uh, this, sounds like it's gonna be really earthy and wonderful and I'm just obsessed with fall right now. And then I've got uh, Red Eyed Lacquer's The Balmer. If you haven't tried that, 10 out of 10 recommend, especially if you have dry cuticles and hands like myself. Uh, I've also got Bon Parsco's Whipped Body Butter in my wish list. I've got Lantern and Wren's Wild About You Stamping Plate in my wish list. And I've got Polished for Days The Last Dragon because, again, I'm telling you guys, I'm obsessed with glowy type of blues. And I think it looks just different enough from the Dom that I want both because I'll never get tired of this type of finish. And then finally, I've got Wildflower Lacquers. Geralt can have all of my coins, which 
Yes, I 10 out of 10 agree with that too, but the polish itself also looks beautiful, but I really like the inspiration too. So uh, that is my wish list. Again, I'll have all this information and timestamps in the description box below. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.